Hi guys, welcome back to another daily tarot reading with me. I'm Ashley Rose and this is your daily tarot reading for Tuesday, March, I don't know what I was going to say, March 15th, 2022. We have the 15th today, so one plus five is six and six is the number for temporary opportunity. So we have an opportunity within the day to kind of, I feel like, seize what's around us, seize all of the things that have been coming into our life, the things that we've been kind of, the doors that we've been seeing open up and, you know, just really tapping into our strengths and our abilities and doing something with them. Six is also the number for love and peace, balance and harmony. So there's an opportunity to really instill that. And again, those being really big themes for us this year, uh, balance, yeah, harmony, and even like our intuition, our connection to ourselves and our relationships. And, you know, that comes from, you know, also having our, having love for ourselves to dive into those places. So I love, again, that this energy is here for us today because with everything else that's been kind of unfolding around us, this is like supports supports it all perfectly so oh bro whoa, whoa. sorry all right i don't know what the cards are what's going on with the cards i love it we have the high priestess we had her last week and i seriously just can't get over this and i don't know if she's popping up because we're in pisces season and this is where she thrives but seriously, I feel like there's just like this window of clarity and opportunity that's open to us right now. And I think she keeps popping up to really remind us of that, that when we're tapping into our intuition, we have an opportunity to release the fear that we once had towards our success and align ourselves with really where we want to go. When we can tap into what we see for ourselves and be willing to create opportunities for ourselves that align with that, Ooh, we're in a really good place. We are like being the conduit between our dreams and our aspirations and our manifestations. We're taking it into our own hands and we're doing something about it. That's big. That is like growing. That is evolving. That is really stepping into our power and where we want to be, where we want to go and doing something about it. We've been in this like waiting space. I feel like the past two months or January, February in this waiting space of like getting all these ideas, getting receiving all this information and really tuning into our intuition, but being unsure of when to move and when to take action. And I feel like now is the time for us to take action, to take these ideas that we're receiving, to take these insights that we're getting, this clarity that we're really working on within ourselves with what we want, really clearing up our feelings, leaving, you know, letting go of any like, old emotions and things that have just been taking up space that they don't, they don't need to anymore. And do, by doing this, we kind of pave the way and clear the way for what we really want and so that we can build something better. We can build something more stable. We can build something, I keep using the word align, but I feel like today is a really big day where we have an opportunity to align ourselves with everything that we want and the things that you know we're working towards, but it really is like aligning ourselves with the vision that we see for ourselves. And, you know, aligning ourselves with who we are now, not who we were then, not who we were when we experienced certain things or went through certain circumstances, who we are now, what we want now, and kind of how to move our way forward. Two is the number for intuition, balance. You see this theme of balance, um, connections, our relationships. And it's, again, the high priestess in the tarot where she leads her life with no fear of where she's going because she trusts in her internal guidance system to show her the way and to bring her to these new doorways, her sitting in the middle of the doorway, that unlocks the future that she sees for herself. And truly the high priestess sits here in between these two pillars, which they like signify your ego and your higher self. And she's kind of like, the the guy would feel like the, to say like the guardian of the next level, the next phase. And she's sitting there like, are you really ready? Do you really want this? You've worked on it, you see it, but are you really ready to take the steps that are necessary for these things to come in? And ultimately you make that decision, but by saying yes, she kind of gets out of your way so that you can see what's behind this curtain and you know really start moving forward on your desires and what you want. Like the curtain has pomegranates on it and pomegranates are like a symbol of like the fruits of your labor. So the things that you've been working on, the seeds that you've been planting, it's kind of we're ready to turn, open that curtain and see what's behind it and go on that journey forward. Because on the bottom here, 
Look at this. We have the hangman in reverse, the hermit in reverse, and then this ace of pentacles from yesterday. So what's supporting this opportunity, this gift that we've gotten from the universe yesterday is, you know, us no longer needing to go within to connect. We're like disconnect, like not, we don't need to disconnect anymore. We need to go out. We're ready to go out and show the world this light that we have inside of us to sound kind of cheesy and cliche, but it really is like connecting again with those that are around us. Cause we've been in this hermit mode. We've been in this like waiting period, right? Of what to do as we've connected to what we really want. And it's time for us to go out because we've changed our perspective. We're ready to move forward. We have enlightened ourselves on the desires that we have. And again, we're tuning into our intuition and allowing that to be the guide that move forward. And when we do that, when we listen to that, we can't go in the wrong direction. So I love this for today. Today also, again, being the number two. So we're talking about balance. We're talking about relationships, our connection to ourself, our connection to our spirituality, and, you know, not letting our fear lead the way anymore. So with this energy being here, take the action today. Do something, listen, journal, meditate, you know, connect with yourself in a deeper way because there's a lot being presented to you right now and it'll do you really well to listen and be open and be willing to maybe integrate some of the ideas that you have right now. So that's where I'm going to leave it. If you'd like to know more about me, what I have going on, or you'd like to book a tarot reading, you can go to ashleyrose.com. You can follow me on Instagram as well. That's Ashley Rose Tarot. Um, like, share, and comment this video. I'd love to hear what insights you're receiving and the things that you're ready to go on or maybe some stuff that's happened because you've been listening to your intuition and maybe you've kind of seen, you know, your life transform a little bit around you that I'm really, in. I would love to, you know, open up that conversation. Um, subscribe to my channel because I love having you guys here with me and you know, it's fun to see this grow. Um, otherwise I will catch you in the daily tarot reading tomorrow.